Hi there, this is Kazungu Duncan from Aero Productions. And before I start this tutorial, I would just like to encourage the candidates who have gone back to school after this coronavirus. I want you to feel, you know, you are secure, you are not going to conduct this, you know, this uh, coronavirus. I hope that everything is going to be okay. And I also pray for you as you'll be sitting for your uh, exams in March. Uh, may God lead you and may you succeed. So feel okay, feel secured, and we hope that everything is going to be okay. Now back to our tutorial, I had a Photoshop health problem. I don't know if you have that same problem, but for me, I have this photo and I want to, you know, do some edits. For example, I want to add in some, you know, you know, curves and uh, maybe blend if options. And sometimes I find it a problem to pan and move on this monitor. What do I mean? Let me, for example, if I need to add curves, of course, I'll come to adjustment uh, layers, then I will choose curves. So in these curves, for example, I drop these mid-tones just like this. Mm, that's too much. Maybe something like that, for example. And maybe I need to add in some blend if options. So I will, of course, double click on the right hand side of this, you know, layer and it will open the blend if uh, options just like this. So once it is open, you see it is overlapping. It is, you know, preventing me from seeing this image. And for example, I need to see what is happening on this image, maybe on the face. So I will offer, of course, want to pick the hand tool, which is picked by default, and I try to move. Look at that. It is not moving. Even if I hold the space bar and try to move it, it is not moving at all. So you may say maybe this is, uh, you know, uh, a lie. Maybe let me zoom out, for example, if I have something like that. So I'll also double click here to load the blend if options and I want to see can I move and see what is happening on this image. So the hand tool is automatically selected. So if I move, it is not moving. Even if I hold the space bar, it is not moving. Let me hit cancel. If I fit it to the screen, control zero and I zoom out a little bit, just even one step behind. So I'll hold control minus just like that and I will load the blend if options. Let me see if this is going to change something. So um, let, let me try. It is not even moving. I don't know why it is not moving. That is before I, you know, I realized this. I never knew why it's not moving. And if I can fit it to the screen and just zoom in a little bit, just control plus once, then I double click here and I want to load this, you know, and, and, and if I move, you see, it's now moving because I'm zoomed in. I'll move and see what is happening here. I can zoom in and even see the face just like that. So how can I solve this problem? Because I need to have privileges over this. Of course, I want to offer to you a, a Photoshop health insurance. So all you need to do is go to edit, then preferences, then, uh, sorry, then tools. If you're using Mac, you'll go to Photoshop, preferences, then tools. And then this dialog box will load and you see this bad boy called over scroll. <laughs> this is the reason why it's not moving. So make sure this bad boy is checked and hit OK. Look at that. Now I can zoom out just like that and throw in some blend if options and see, can I have the privilege to move here and there? Now when it's loaded, look at that. I can move around and see what is happening. I can even zoom in and all that. Look at that. I think I like this. So if I cancel, if I fit it to the screen and just zoom out once, so just mm, control minus, just like that, and I load this very, you know, blend if options, I want to see, can I move? Look at that. It is now moving. Hey, I like this. And I hope that you also like this. Maybe if I fit it to the screen and maybe I'm zoomed in just like that. Uh, maybe that's too much. Uh, maybe mm, that's fine. Then I load this very 
you know blend if options and i want to see what is happening i can happily move around and i can check what is i uh, mean happening and, and and i think this is a photoshop insurance that i think uh you should know this and i am um, i'm sure that it has helped you a lot and if it has helped you a lot i would like you to subscribe but not only subscribe ring that bell so that you my friend do not miss any future tips tricks or tutorials and if in case you like this video i would like you to hit that like button give me thumbs up and also share this to your friends so that they can also learn this maybe they are facing the same problem they need to learn this otherwise i hope i will see you in my future tutorials until then remember to keep creating